Hello everyone, Sochi's here from Fragmix and I hope you're ready for some more gaming news. We are going to dive right into some charity news. Now, a few days ago, we reported that in the recent Diablo 3 patch, players were able to exploit the in-game auction house and gain trillions of gold, causing Blizzard to shut down the in-game auction house to resolve the issue. As you may not be aware, the game features a real money auction house where players can sell gold and items for real money. Well, in an impressive move, Blizzard have decided to donate all proceeds from gold and items that were glitched by the now banned account to Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. This is a charity which has been around since 1983 and raises money for children's hospitals across America and Canada. And before those familiar with real money auction house say, oh, but Blizzard keep a percentage of transaction fees. Yes, they do but they are also donating the transaction fees as well. There is no word yet on how much money is being donated, but this is certainly a very impressive move by Blizzard, so hats off to them for making a fantastic decision. Also, on a side note, can I just say that anyone who glitched trillions of gold, did you really not expect to be caught? Some of these people even spent some of their own money to get a much bigger sum of gold in return for what they paid for. So, yeah. Your account's now banned and you're losing the money too. Very silly people indeed. In free to play news, try on roles the developers behind Rift have announced that on the 12th of June, the MMO will be going free to play. There will still be the option of subscribing in order to receive free content such as dungeons, quests and so on. And there will be a link to the interview Joystick did with creative director Bill Fisher down in the description. The gaming industry is going through a boom of free-to-play models currently, and many MMOs are being pushed to make the switch. More MMOs becoming free-to-play should be a good thing, so long as the company can develop a good free-to-play model that allows them to still be able to create good content for the game. Myself personally have not had the chance to look at the game much, so I am excited to see how the free-to-play model will play out. In DLC news, Borderlands 2 has today released an official launch trailer for Krieg the Psycho Bandit. The trailer depicts Sir Hammerlock talking about a new Vault Hunter coming to the world of Pandora and goes into detail about the free skill trees and new action skill available. The new action skill is called Buzz Axe Rampage, allowing Krieg to pull out his Buzz Axe and tear the enemies a new one. The best thing about this action skill and what some are claiming is too overpowered is that each time he kills an enemy while it is active, he regains full health. The Bloodlust tree gives bonuses to his damage depending on how much bloodlust he has. The highest skill in the tree is called Blood Explosion and causes any enemy he kills to explode with whatever element weapon he's killed them with. On the Hellborn tree, you have abilities that can engulf Krieg in fire and give him a huge boost to defense whilst on fire. The last skill on the tree, Raven Retribution, causes Krieg to shoot homing balls of fire at enemies who do damage to him whilst he is on fire. And lastly, in the Mania tree, featuring skills that make Krieg stronger when his shields are down, even giving him the ability to throw dynamite at enemies whilst down, and of course, the last skill on the Mania Tree causes him to turn into a badass psycho mutant if he activates his Buzz Axe Rampage whilst below 33% of max health, and it heals him to max health and causes him to do massive melee damage. Overall, if another person playing as Krieg challenges you to a duel, politely say no and proceed to book tickets off the planet. Kree can now be downloaded for 800 Microsoft points on Xbox 360 and $9.99 on PlayStation Network and Steam. And that is all the gaming news for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow. And my wife is going to get such a surprise when she plays Borderlands 2 with me tonight. Goodbye. <laughs>